today I'm gonna show you in a in the next part of our Drupal series. We're done with taxonomy now, and I'm gonna show you a two-part video on how to set up Tiny MCE. Now, Tiny MCE is a WYSIWYG editor, and what a WYSIWYG editor is is uh, what you see is what you get editor. Microsoft Word is a WYSIWYG editor. Now, Drupal by default does not have a WYSIWYG editor. It just has this body box. And that's a very smart thing because that means that people that don't know HTML can't go screwing up your site with their weird looks. So they can't go... Uh, So, for example, they can't just put um, some content as an eighth one because that's um, for your page type. Obviously, I've, you know, HTML, you can do that. But the idea is that if you if you know HTML, you can still do it. But what if you, you, people want a WYSIWYG, so they want to be able to just click bold and have things go bold, like you can in Microsoft Word. Well, you can install that on Drupal as a module, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. And I'm also going to show you in the next video some philosophies on what to let people have and what to not, because at the end of the day, you're the designer, and you make the design design this is you shouldn't be let them design design your website for you so let's start by looking at the tiny mce with wig page on drupal and we want the six dev ver version which is recommended for drupal six um so we're going to download that and we're also as you notice here, it's it says Tiny M's in, installing the module Tiny MC is a two-step process. As you notice, it says here. So you need to download the actual editor from here, and I've just got the main package, and and then you'll end up with two folders: one with the module and one with the actual thing. So what what you need to do is simply to just drag drag the folder containing the editor which is in my in my case the uh, basically w what you need to do is in your default and themes folder you need to um put your tiny mce folder and then you need to put the actual editor in a uh, which you get from the tiny mc website in a folder inside the other uh, module folder and then you need to drop that in there call it tiny mc so this is what your folder structure should look like it should be sites all modules and then tiny mc and then inside that you should know the folder called tiny mc so let's actually enable this so let's go to administer site building and then modules and we want to go down and we want to enable tiny mc And 
we want to go into our site configuration and then tiny MC and then I'm just going to create a default profile I'm going to say anyone can access and a lot of this is um, you're going to be configuring later but now if we go to create content and then blog entry better give myself permissions um, and then go back to Tiny MC Edit Visibility And then I'm gonna allow it for authenticated user and not anonymous user and we're just gonna update the profile and now I'm going back to create content page and now it loads so congratulations you just install tiny MC and in the next video we'll be getting more advanced thanks for watching